Hi everybody, Father Matthew Graham here. As you can see, I have reclaimed my office from Father Taylor and Blair and decided to give them a little break from the parish update today and maybe even kind of return to my old format. I'm going to provide you some updates of things going on here at Mecca Conception through this coming weekend and hopefully keep us all uh, prepared in hearts and minds as we prepare to enter into a new season as well, as well as entering for many the holiday season. So let's take a look at what we'll be talking about in our parish update today. Um, so we're talking about the Thanksgiving holidays coming up, our Thanksgiving Day Mass, our Angel Giving Tree, uh, which many have learned about last weekend, our Rejoice Advent Book uh, Program, as well as talk, talk, talk about our Adoration Chapel sign up as well and where we are on that. So first thing is just uh, with today, I wanted to do the update in the morning, is to provide and remind everyone with the holidays, um, decided to close the office a little early. It's been a little bit quieter this week, which has been good for everybody. So the office will be closing at 12 noon today. So if there's anything you need to get handled with our office, please uh, contact them by noon. But if there is an emergency, Father Taylor and myself will be around to enter the emergency line and uh, we'll be around as well. And also with that, the office will be closed uh, tomorrow and Friday for the Thanksgiving holiday so that everyone can be with their families and a chance to just to catch their breaths and relax before the start of the Advent season and the Christmas season. And so the office will reopen on Monday, November 29th. And so tomorrow, uh, typically, of course, every Thursday morning we have an 8.30 uh, a.m. Mass, but tomorrow will be special, of course, celebrating specifically Thanksgiving Day. Even in the Roman Missal, there are specific prayers and readings that you can use. So just encourage everyone, please, if you can, even if you don't regularly attend a, a weekday Mass, this might be a special one for you to attend. So please join us at Mass at 8.30 a.m. encourage you to bring wine, bread, and or a dish that you would be uh, would like blessed for your Thanksgiving Day meal. And this is something I did in my previous assignment and maybe you've done here. Of course, I have not been here through many of the, the normal times per se. Uh, but this is a great way of saying, all right, Lord, we thank you for this opportunity to bring these things, especially to our loved ones and what you provide for us. And that's the beauty of our faith and some of the traditions we have, that blessings as well as for the objects, and also more and more for us and those whom we love as a way of recognizing, Lord, because of your generosity here, what I'm able to provide to those around me uh, for food, for comfort. And so, um, so it's a wonderful tradition. So We'll have a table set up towards the very front of the church, uh, up in the altar area. If you know where the baptismal font is, if you're looking at the altar to the left, there'll be tables around that front pew that you can place those items there. I'm bringing a wine uh, to my meal for my for my family. So I um, encourage you, if you can, please bring something you like blessed to bring over to your Thanksgiving meal. Also, you see uh, last weekend, uh, set up in the very back of the church, is our angel giving tree. Now, this is a program that has gone many years. Uh, last year, I know we helped out over 300 children in our area, and along with their families, providing gifts for the Christmas uh, day and Christmas season. And so uh, a lot of you may have already taken one. If not, there's still plenty of uh, on both trees. This is just one tree. All the instructions are on there of the age, what they're looking for. We just ask you to please uh, return them unwrapped with that tag so we can label everything. So that's what will be going on this weekend and next weekend. And I know the, the weekend of the 12th, they're going to be trying to wrap up everything so that they can distribute the weekend before Christmas. So if you grab one, please uh, follow the instructions. If you've not had a chance to grab one, maybe you've uh, been away last weekend or not coming to the weekend masses, the church is always open during the week while we're here. Please grab an ornament and help a child in need. And if there's anything else that you'd like to provide, don't hesitate to come to the office and say, how else can I be of assistance? I know there will be uh, sorting through the presents uh, the middle of Jan uh, December with the distribution on that weekend before Christmas. So uh, if you'd like to help out with that, the more information on that is in the bulletin. All right, <clears throat> so let's talk about our Rejoice Advent books. Um, and this is what it looks like. Uh, I do apologize. Um, I heard last weekend I was heading down towards um, my previous summit to do a baptism for a couple, and called Father Peter Coleman saying, uh, we're down to 20 books for the 11 o'clock Mass. So um, I do apologize about that. As I've learned in my short time as a priest and hearing from the staff, either we have too much of one thing or we run out. Well, in that case, we almost we did run out. 
So we were able to order some more books. And so they'll be coming in. So they're specifically for the 11 o'clock and 6 p.m. crowds who did not get any of the books really. So if you haven't gotten one yet, don't worry. Now we're still asking just one per family at this moment. But this is a wonderful program. I had a little moment to talk about it at the Mass as I celebrated this past weekend. But I did this exact program last year. And it was very engaging for me to reflect more through the eyes of St. Joseph entering into Advent. And we've often said that Advent has become, I'd say, the lost season. I mean, the Christmas music started back in you know, the beginning of this month. Everyone's focused on Thanksgiving. And then once we get done with Thanksgiving, all the focus is straight to the secular celebration of Christmas. Rather than, all right, how are we preparing our hearts and minds? And so this is a wonderful program by Ascension Press. I'm going to be doing it again, and especially it's very advantageous since this is still the year of St. Joseph. So I encourage you um, to look at that. And each day is a wonderful reflection. And what I encourage you to do is also maybe you struggle with, all right, I start, but I never finish. Find an accountability partner. What we are here as a staff, we're going to be doing, we divide ourselves into three teams. We're going to try to meet at least once a week to uh, review the, what, you know, anything that stood out to us, anything that spoke to us. Last year when I did this with uh, three other gentlemen from my previous assignment, uh, we texted each other day uh, what we got in that prayer time. Now, do we share everything? No. But the gist of what we got in that prayer or something that really spoke out to us. And what it really does in this program is get you more into to meditative prayer reading a scripture, and seeing how it touches in your life. Father, Mother, Father Mark Toop does a wonderful job. Now, what we will be doing is I'll send in a link uh, separate of this this weekend of how to access the video that begins each week, as well as try to put on our website where the, the, the videos that you can watch it that give you an example of how to enter into that week, what's the focus of the week, so that when you go through each day of the week, you have a model to go off of, and then... Come next the following weekend, another new video to help you again to re-enter into it and to challenge you and maybe even give you some guidance of how to approach it. So hope you are uh, you enjoy that. If you like to donate any money, because what we're doing is providing this at no cost to everybody. Some people are like, well, how can you do that? I said, well, this is to show that your donations each weekend go beyond just um, keeping the lights on or the paying salary staff or our, you know, this is, goes to the programs in our dice in our excuse me, in our parish. So if there's any, if anyone would like to donate money, and we're going to be using this as a way of evaluating. All right, if everyone likes this, they do something similar for Lent, and then we are going to be uh, working to promote that one as well. So, love it. if you have any feedback once you start this, or you have any questions, don't hesitate to reach out, and I may try to record a video to share with everybody what I've been getting as I go through this program. And even though I did it last year, I'm looking forward to go through it again because I'm a different person compared to last year. And I know the Lord always is finding a way to speak to me and for me to be open. And personally, my own spiritual life, having a program is much more fruitful for me than just sitting there. I need something to help me focus or give me a, a program. Maybe it's the engineer in me. So I'm looking forward to this, and I hope you are as well. All right, and the other thing, too, I want to promote is our Adoration Chapel sign-up. I was just finding out from Allison, who's our uh, coordinator for that, that this coming December 8th marks 25 years since the beginning of our Adoration Chapel. And so uh, we are getting very close to making it perpetual again. I took a picture just a few moments ago. So if you go to our Adoration Chapel, you go inside on that door, you see the little yellow, yellow dots. There's a few left. Those are our remaining spots to fill. Once those are filled, we can go perpetual as far as having exposition in the blessed, you know, exposed in the monstrance. But just to let everyone know, right now, the Adoration Chapel is already open 24-7. The Lord is present there in the tabernacle. You can adore Him in the tabernacle. Uh, so, uh, so let you know. So maybe if already you have a spot, say, at um, Sunday evening at 6 p.m., you can go there if you have the code. You don't. I encourage you, call Allison, call Colleen, and talk to him about that. How do I get the code? Maybe even how can maybe if I can't be in a door, I can be a substitute. And the other encouragement is maybe, all right, I want to do that, but I can't do it every week. I can maybe do it every other week or every three weeks. So this is the opportunity to encourage you. Get with your friends. Get with your families. Say, all right, let's create a rotation that maybe you don't have it, but once every three weeks or once every other week. 
That way we can fill up our remaining spots, but also start filling in. So we're getting very close to having it perpetual again. So to those who sign up, thank you. Encourage you, go ahead and start fulfilling your hour to get in that routine. And then especially if you're looking for something for Advent. Advent's a new liturgical year. We don't need to wait for Lent in order to begin a, a, a work in our spiritual life. Now is the time. And so I encourage you to please uh, consider signing up for one of our remaining hours we have left for our Adoration Chapel. And then finally, um, I uh, remember this after the slides get everything set up, that our feast day is coming up, November, excuse me, December 8th, the Feast of the Immaculate Conception. And so I'm going to be posting on our website, putting uh, this out uh, this weekend, it'll be on blue paper, is the Novena to, Immac to the Immaculate Conception. And so uh, I'm not sure this has ever been done here beforehand, but it's something trying to grow and promoting a prayer for our church and all that goes on. So... Um, look for this to be in the very back of the churches this weekend. We'll try to find a spot to email it out to everybody as well. And then, if I have time, maybe on Friday, what I might do, like I did a decade of the day, maybe record a video of the day, going through this prayer, uh, each prayer each day, as well as giving us a specific intention to pray for. Uh, so you can use your own intentions, you can use the one that I give, but just to let you know, about the novena as we prepare for our feast day, for our parish, but as well as for our country, as um, Our Lady of the Immaculate Conception. The Immaculate Conception is the patroness of the United States as well, so it's an important feast day for our country. All right, well, that's a kind of long enough update, I think, for everybody. Hope that's been informative. Note my prayers for you. I hope all of you and your families have a wonderful Thanksgiving celebration. And though, and know of my prayers for you. And whatever we as a parish can do for you, please never hesitate to reach out. Until our next parish update, or next time I see you at Mass, take care, and God bless.